Hello, Nicole St. John coming to you again here uh, with some more information about colloidal silver generators. You probably saw my video on uh, a really a simple way, about $20 worth of products from Radio Shack, three batteries, uh, a couple alligator clips, and some silver. And uh, silver. And you can uh, create your own colloidal silver generator. I used this in the very early days and, uh, and have still uh, at times used it, uh, and it's very effective. Uh, what I did do was, instead of having all these wires and stuff, I wanted something that was compact. So I started building various generators uh, and have evolved, they've kind of evolved as I go through. And I'll explain each one of them. This is the first one. Okay, one of the first ones I built was uh, very crude. It just had a, a piece of uh, cardboard, a little uh, uh, speaker, you know, it's a speaker. Um, wire assembly. Uh, I did put a switch on it and it'll put in a, a place where you plug it in and you probably can't see it but there's a little bit of a little light here. Uh, I did go to a 9 volt uh, 300 milliamp uh, adapter that has the connector on it and you just simply plugged it in, put the wire in and set it down on the glass. That was really one of my first ones, obviously very crude but still effective and, and simple. Kind of the next generation that I had was, uh, if this looks familiar, that's because this is a uh, Baskin Robbins uh, cup. I think this is a pint, and I liked uh, the shape of it. It was round, and because we were putting this on a round glass, uh, I did that. Again, I got the speaker wire uh, connector, and I put, put a place, basically a piece of plastic over and glued that down, and then uh, added the light so you could see it a little bit better. Uh, a switch to turn it back on rather than the push button switch and then uh, the connector for the uh, 9 volt adapter so that was really my second generation uh, again uh, crude but but a little better third is uh, in my uh, silver generators I uh, I discovered pill bottles and I found that the uh, about the 250 cc uh, pill bottle white pill bottle was pretty much ideal so I you know I cut them off and uh, I had a lid in which I could put the uh, an LED and the switch then on the side I put the connector where you could attach the or connect the uh, 9 volt adapter uh, again on the bottom I found uh, uh, really some great uh, little speaker terminals and so I glued that inside this is, uh, I, I think this, I don't remember what that plot, that lid is, but that, uh, again, because it was round and it fits, fits down on a uh, glass, just really nice. And so this was really the latest uh, uh, work of, of assembling all this. It was very uh, easy to do, and so that's, that's the one. This is actually my personal one I've been using for probably about, I don't know, three and a half, four years. And my latest is, again, the, the, the pill bottle uh, cut off with a, a lid, the uh, same uh, connectors uh, for the speaker wires. And I've added, so not only do we have the place where you can use a 9-volt uh, adapter, but I've added a, another piece where you can actually attach a battery. So if you're traveling, you don't have to carry the carry the adapter with you, you can actually just attach a battery and uh, and then of course put on the wires and and turn it on and, and it, it works just fine. I've used this one several times in testing and uh, this is really a nice little compact unit. Um, whether you like the different color lids or not, green, I have black, yellow, and or black, brown, and uh, and white. But anyway, this is the, fine, the, the last generation that I have of the pill bottle uh, modification one for generating colloidal silver and uh, if you're interested in one of these uh, you can contact me and I'd be glad to uh, uh, make one for you. Okay I thought I'd uh, show you the the latest model with the the battery in it and uh, so here's the the battery uh, you can see I've put in the um, silver rods in the speaker wire connector and uh, so they're they're in and now you simply place it on top of a glass, that's why they're nice and round and they just sit there, they're not going to go anywhere. And then when you turn it on, you can see uh, the yellow light, or the, I'm sorry, the green light. Keep that on the way. So 
you can see the green light on it here's the battery on the side and then of course the silver and uh, for all of those you of you know uh, I'm just doing this for display purposes uh, it the cloud coming off of it is silver ions and uh, it does come off fairly quickly I in this case I've got tap water it's not heated uh, it is filtered and uh, ideally the uh, using uh, distilled water and uh, and letting it run for you know half an hour to an hour is probably ideal but again as I've used this system over the years um, and you notice too that I have one that's short that's the uh, negative side you really just need to have something in the water you don't need a full six inches of silver and uh, then the other one's the long one where the silver ionizes off of it so anyway that's uh, that's the get up and uh, like I said if you're interested just contact me and we'll uh, see about getting you one.